So basically, before I came to China, I used to work at an insurance company in Cameroon. But what triggered me to come to China? I have I have always been that kind of a person that I had never dreamt of like traveling abroad. I have never thought that maybe some way, somehow, someday I would travel abroad. Not because I never had the desire to travel abroad, but because on a personal sphere, I thought that it was a whole lot of stress. It was a whole lot of psychological trauma. And it made me just okay with where I was at that point in time. But something really deep and personal triggered me. And I'm not going to be talking about that today. Maybe someday in the future, I will refer to this video and tell you guys what triggered me to immediately want to leave Cameroon to go abroad. Salut, salut! Hello, friends. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your queen, it's your lady, it's your girl, La Vie at Belvi Creations, the beautiful life channel. Bell for beautiful, V for life. Creations. So, what are you waiting for? If you have not subscribed to the beautiful life channel, then how do you want to see the beauty of life? Come on. If this is your first time stumbling by my channel, please do well to subscribe to my channel. Click the no notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you will definitely see the notification. And if you're just coming back to my channel, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up, comment below and share me on your community. Trust me, when I get to that point in time where I will start sharing on my community. I will share you, share you, share your family, share your ancestors, share your family members, share everyone shareable. Trust me on that. So basically, before I came to China, I used to work at an insurance company in Cameroon. But what triggered me to come to China? I have, I have always been that kind of a person that I had never dreamt of like traveling abroad. I have never thought that maybe some way, somehow, someday I would travel abroad. Not because I never had the desire to travel abroad, but because on a personal sphere, I thought that it was a whole lot of stress. It was a whole lot of psychological trauma. And it made me just okay with where I was at that point in time. But something really deep and personal triggered me. And I'm not going to be talking about that today. Maybe someday in the future, I will refer to this video and tell you guys what triggered me to immediately want to leave Cameroon to go abroad and why I had to choose China. So basically, um, when China came up to me, uh, to me, I was like, okay, at this point in time, there are a lot of businesses that are coming from China. There are so many companies that are coming from China. There are so many opportunities that are coming from China. And at that point in time, as a human resource officer by profession that I am, I wanted something that will help me um, grow my career. So to me, I thought that this would be an opportunity to distinguish myself uh, amongst every other human resource officer and achieve another skill. Like I can speak English, I can speak French, and me speaking another third language will distinguish myself and make my career opportunities much more profound than other people who are in the same profession but who cannot speak more than two languages I could speak at that point in time so that is why when China came I was so excited and I jumped into the bandwagon and decided to come to China now when I when my guardian contacted my agent the first question I told my guardian to ask my agent was this can I come to China and study and still be able to work. There are some countries where, where you can uh, study and work at the same time because 
when you work it's easy for you to use the money you earn in order to finance your studies so that was what i wanted and my agent said yes and to me i was like okay then instead of taking a work visa why don't i take a student visa get to china where i can work and study at the same time and that was how i came to china now fast forward to where when my admissions came out i went to the embassy and i was given um, a visa to come to china what happened then actually at that point in time there were two of us for one agent and the other family friend had a visa to go study at a university in Shanghai why I had a visa to study at another university in another city where I am right now so it happened that something came up and this family member of mine went before me when he arrived China what he told my guardian made things to change so much so that i was not able to travel immediately but my guardian had to figure out how to make sure i travel and get into the right hands based on the fact that i am a woman and my other family member family friend is a man so when my family friend arrived china our agent received him in another city which was not where his university was located he had to go to school in Shanghai but this agent received him in another city when he arrived in China this agent took all the food he had and took all of the money he had so he stayed at my agent's place for some time and Every time he mentioned about going to school, my agent would be like, no, we're going to go to your school. Just hold on. He'll be like, bro, when are we going to my school? No, don't, don't worry. We are going to go to your school. Bro, when are we going to school? And the agent kept on saying, don't worry, we'll go to school. And then whenever he talked about me to this agent, and then he actually shared my Facebook with this agent. And I got to, I got to this agent and, you know, accepted his friend request on my Facebook and this agent will be like will tell this my family member like oh that get fine that very fine game if you get come with China I, I, I will just take you to come to house like woman which means that while I wanted an opportunity to come to China in order to progress or distinguish myself in my career the agent that got me admissions to come to China had his a plan of his own he actually wanted me to come to China so that he could receive me in China and keep me in his house and use me. And whenever you hear about a man using a woman, it is very obvious whatever plans he had towards me. So when my family member told my guardian about what my agent said, my guardian decided to divert from my agent to some other extended family friend who was in China at the moment and who had taught a few subjects at the university I was supposed to come to. And that is how instead of talking to the agent, we talked to the family friend who was a teacher at the university where I was going to. And that is how we changed everything and that is how i got to china one month to the end of the semester i arrived china in may and we only had about june for the semester to come to an end i'm gonna be continuing this part of the story in my next video so this is just a part one keep watching stay tuned for my how I got to China stories and trust me this is an interesting story a story of lessons to be learned a story of how life is 
a story about how when you get to a certain point in life, you have to show some level of appreciation. You have to show that for me to be on this level, for me to get here, there were actually people that cleared the path for me. And me getting here means that I was favored amongst so many that fell into that trap. There are so many girls that fell into traps, into similar traps that like the trap my agent created for me. There are so many people whose visa situations were ruined by agents like my agents. There are so many boys and girls who got abroad and were and their situations was completely destroyed by the kind of visa agents, the kind of family members, the kind of friends they fell into their hands who used them, who destroyed the start of a new life they aspired to get from moving into another country. I don't know what your case is, but trust me, on this journey of my life in China, there is a whole lot that you're going to learn. Hello, friends. Smile. Be happy, chill out. There is a whole lot of lessons. And if you have just watched a part one of this video, stay tuned for a part two. Have a bell V. It's a goodbye from me to you. Bye bye. Au revoir et à bientôt.